Okay guys, I just took it out of the oven. This is what it looks like. When it's cool, I'll be back and cut a slice for you all to see. I'm going to cut a slice for you guys to see how it looks. Okay guys, let's cut this coconut Okay, Caribbean style, okay? It's Caribbean style coconut cake. To make coconut, you get your coconut. This is a coconut. You cut it up. I put it in my blender. I add some water to it and I blend it. Here I have a strainer and I'm just going to do this. right here that right there is coconut milk so you can use this uh, you can just buy a coconut coconut milk in the can hi how are you all doing I'm so excited today um, today I'll be making coconut cake like the coconut cake that I get in the store up here the one the Caribbean one so that's what I'll be doing today what I'm gonna do I will list the ingredients in down below. This is my butter. I'm gonna put it in here. And I have sugar. I'm using brown sugar. And I am going to cream my sugar and butter. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back here I have two eggs they are not at room temperature but I'm sure my cake won't fall back which one of you are familiar hearing with the word jack back like the cake jack back Caribbean people know what I'm talking about Um, I went and I got me vanilla essence that's Guyanese from Guyana because I love the almond essence so much I said geez I gotta see I gotta try that vanilla essence mmm yeah, it's not kind of okay not much so I'm gonna put some in here what am I doing yeah what am I doing put it in the egg yeah it's okay put it in the egg doesn't matter you can put it in there too it doesn't matter I don't smell that you know Kind of strong though, smells strong. So I'm gonna put one egg in there. I'm gonna put the other egg in there. And I am gonna beat it and I'll be right back. Let me remove this. This is the butter, the sugar, and the egg. I put a little bit more vanilla because I couldn't smell it. So I put a little bit more vanilla off camera. It's smelling really strong now. I hope I didn't put too much. <laughs> now here I have the flour. I'm going to add some baking powder to it. Let me add some baking powder too. As I was saying, like the cake, like when I just start baking, the cake, when I make the cake, the middle will just fall right in. <laughs> this is two teaspoon. The middle of the cake will just fall right in. But it was eatable though. I could have eaten it, we could have eaten it, so. Wasn't that bad? Yeah. But nowadays when I bake, that doesn't happen. Because I teach myself, I taught myself how to, how to bake. So the egg that I put in here, it's, um, I just took it out of the fridge and I just, I just use it. But normally like when you're making cake, you let your egg, your egg need to be at room temperature. Unless you are making 
cold oven cake. If you're making a cold oven cake, then we don't need that to be at room temperature. Okay, so this is my flour. Plus, I put bacon powder in there. What else do I need? Okay, so I have here a cup of evaporated milk. I'm using evaporated milk. And I need to put, this is the coconut milk. So I'm gonna add some here. I need, let's see, I'm mixing it. I need like one and uh, two third. Yeah, one and two third cup of, of milk. So I mix it, you know, I put some coconut milk and I put some, some milk. I'm mixing it. Okay, so let me set this aside. Now, what I need here is, I need to put, oh, I bring it up too much, sorry. There. I need a pinch of salt. I don't need that much salt. Just a little bit of salt. I'm gonna go in this. Okay, I'll put the recipe in the description box for you guys. Now I need some nutmeg. I have some grated nutmeg here. I'm just gonna put some grated nutmeg. I don't want that much nutmeg. Just like just a little pinch. Not even quarter teaspoon, just a pinch of nutmeg. That's what I want. Okay. Now I am gonna mix it like this. I think my bowl is still small. I needed something bigger. It seems so. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna put in my milk. I guess you guys will see. Ain't she making coconut cake? Where is the coconut? But don't worry, the coconut is gonna come soon. Let me just mix this in here. Gotta be gentle because I don't want to make a mess because I can see my container here is too small okay here is the coconut you see how it look like this as I always say when you're making thing with coconut well when I'm making thing with coconut I always season it <laughs> that's what I said so I put two teaspoon of um, sugar in this and I put um, what else I put a tablespoon, a teaspoon of um, cinnamon in it. Yes, I don't know why I stammer sometimes. Oh, there's something I forgot, guys. Where is it? Oh my! I'm gonna put it in now too. This is not a must in the Caribbean. We don't use this, but this is flaxseed. I take one teaspoon. I take one teaspoon of flaxseed and I ground it up. I'm gonna add it to it guys if you try this recipe you don't have to do that that's optional really optional anybody will tell you in the Caribbean we don't put flaxseed in in coconut cake but I do I want something in that coconut cake whatever I'm baking I want something to make the person who is eating it just keep eating <laughs> just keep eating okay so I'm gonna put my coconut in here now it I think I better get a bigger spoon let's use this there you go oh I gotta be so gently gentler oh, maybe I need to put this in something bigger okay okay guys I am gonna mix this off camera and I'll be right back there you go guys. I add the rest of the, the remaining of the milk in it. And I just take my time and mix it with the spoon. Like this. I taste it. And it tastes okay. It tastes really good. But it needs something else in there too. It needs just a little bit more salt. A little bit more. It's a pinch more salt. I have the salt right here. 
I don't need that much salt, but it does need the salt in it. Okay guys, I am back. I finished greasing my pan. This is what I'm going to bake my coconut cake into. Mm. So, this is it. I'm going to pour it in my, my dish and put it in the oven and let it bake. Oh, I want you guys to know that after I add the egg, I didn't use this. When I mix in the flour, I just use a spoon. I just use a spoon and I just mix it with the spoon. There's no need to use that. You just use a spoon and you just mix it around gently with it. So, um, let me put this here. And the good thing about this too, like when you're making it, you can taste. You can taste it to know how it tastes. You taste it to know, does it have enough sugar for me? Does it have enough vanilla for me? Is it flavorful? Does it want some more spice in it? And you can just simply taste it. And if you see it needs something, you can add it to it. That's the thing about it, you see? It's different than when we're making cake. Because when we're making that cake, you know, like vanilla cake. And you're making that, you can add anything to it. When you don't mix it up, if you taste it, you can add anything to it. That's why I'm saying I don't have to worry because I just take the egg out of the fridge and the butter out of the fridge and I just start making the See it here? I'm gonna put it in the oven and I'll be right back when you see me again. It is finished and it's time to eat. See you in a bit. I'm gonna cut a slice for you guys to see how it look. Okay guys? Let's cut this coconut cake Caribbean style okay it's Caribbean style coconut cake that's how we do it in Vinci I don't know anywhere else Let's see what it looks like you guys want to see what it looks like here it is this is what it looks like this is what it looks like I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.